Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn Chroma Keying in Adobe After Effects. Chroma Key is also known as a blue or a green screen. It is not just a screen. It's involved filming object or a subject in front of the single color screen, which can be either blue or green. After the filming is done, video editing software like Adobe After Effect is used to key out or remove the color from behind the actor, making it transparent. Therefore, you are free to add any background footage you want to add or place the subject in any type of set. You can make it look like you are driving a car without a license or even import any 2D or 3D animation and make it look like it plays with the actor. So guys, let's see practically how to king particular footage. So guys, first I am creating one composition which is called Chroma Key. I am just naming it and I am setting my footage for just uh, one minute. Okay, fine. Next I am importing my green screen footage which is in raw footages. Here I have several green screen footages. I am taking this one. Just drag and do to timeline panel. Now as you can see, this is my green screen footage where we have to remove this green screen and then we can add a background suitable to this footage. So in this footage what I am doing, I am just try to act like I am punching a punching bag. Fine. So first there is uh, some unnecessary uh, data like here is some mic uh, as well as here is a uh, lights and everything that I have to remove. So first of all I am masking my footage. Okay. So I am just masking this data so that the unwanted area will not cover. Fine. So I am just mask this. Now I am applying the removing green screen effect. For that you have to go effect and presets. Here you can select key. There is look key light 1.2. Just drag and drop this effect to your footage or you can also double click on this effect. I am just drag and drop to my footage. Now as you can see in effect control you can see your effect over here. Now you have to remove this green screen for that you have to select this color picker. Okay. So I am just selecting this color picker and you can see the green part over here. I am just selecting this and boom your green screen is removed. But still as you can see there are some white as well as some uh, black part over here which is not completely removed. Okay, so for that, first of all, I am changing my view to screen mat. Okay, what is a screen mat? Screen mat is showing that white part is visible part. Okay, and that black part is completely transparent part. So for now, I am just going to screen mat setting, and here I am increasing the black area so that our black area will increase and that will become a transparent. So I am just increasing. Okay, as you can see, don't make it too much higher because if you're increasing too much, then that will also transparent my body as well as my t-shirt also. So I'm just uh, decreasing a little, increasing a little bit. Okay, now I have to decrease the white part. See? See? So done. I'm just play this. So guys, as you can see, I'm removing that green screen. Now I'm change my view to final result to show my final result. Just click here. Now here you can toggle to transparency. What is this toggle transparency grid to show the transparent part. So as you can see now I am alone in my composition panel. Now you can also adjust your mask so that the unwanted part is removed from your footage. Okay, fine. Now it's look good. Okay, good. So as you can see, the green screen is completely removed. Now I'm showing you some setting over here. Now there is a screen shrink glow. Sometimes you have some border over here which you want to shrink. So you can increase a little bit like I am just little bit of English 0 0.5. See, I'm just applying again so you can see 
okay so you can if you have sometimes uh, uh, your green screen footage is not properly recorded so here you can see a green uh, border line on a edge so that you can remove from that or you can also apply a screen softness see i am increasing just one see softness over here i am just disabling the transparency so you can see see this is also very useful i am just increasing by 0.5 see my edge is getting soft okay so guys as you can see our keying is done now what we are going to do we are applying our background on this footage so just take the footage here i have a uh, input in image i have some background just drag and drop this background below this green screen footage so as you can see now i'm just adjusting it we can also scale it boom so guys our chroma keying is done like this you can do a variety of uh, green screen removing things and create a very effective videos now i am already show you in starting you can create a multiple object you can also add some object over here okay and you can interact with your green screen footage for example i am already done this see here you can see i am punching this punching bag okay like this you can also add a shadow over here see i applying one a shadow so that it will be look some realistic effect okay you can also apply some effect like this bang effect some particle effect okay you can also do some color corrections and make it very realistic so guys this is a chroma keying or you can also say green screen effect in adobe after effect thank you guys thank you so much see you in the next video